All right, in our last video, we spent some time drilling holes, pouring concrete for a concrete pier foundation for a double wide, um, kind of by Watertown, South Dakota. Here we're about an hour and a half, two hours north of that location, getting the house ready to go. That's gonna be sitting there. We've already got it pretty well prepped and just about ready for the road. This half here is ready to go. We're just finishing up that half. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to be up here while they were doing most of the nitty gritty work, getting the axles and tires and splitting this house in half. We'll definitely be doing a video in the future where we get some of that footage because it's a pretty interesting process how we take these homes apart and get them ready to go. Uh, this home is pretty new. I think it's only a couple years old. Um, some older homes sometimes have structural integrity problems that we have to deal with, but I don't think that was an issue here. There was no hitch on this home, so we had to have a welder come out and weld up a custom hitch just for this home. Um, same for the other half. There also was no axles. The dealer must have taken these back after they sold it to them. <clears throat> and so they had to lift this house up put the axles under it, um, get those all bolted in and put some tires on. Um, but before they did that, they got up on the roof, they cut that ridge cap right down the center, went inside, took any trim apart on the marriage wall, cut anything in there that needed to be cut. You have to go along the bottom, cut lag bolts, because usually the home is bolted together in the center. They also took the siding off that covers the ends. That'll get put back on on the other side. Um, and then you can see we put the tarp up on it to keep all the insulation and in, everything in while we're driving down the road. Just keep the home secure, safe from any water if it were to rain. Steve's just finishing up putting the tarp on and I'll join him here in a second. We were up on the roof um folding that tarp under some of these lath boards here screwing it down to the roof and then we come down here pull it tight screw it to the bottom nice and tight so it doesn't flop in the wind going down the road so after they split the home open you've seen uh, our trans lift in other videos they'd have come under probably that half first from this side i'm assuming Hook either the truck hitch up or the remote tracks to the front side and they came in with a um, trans lift on the back end here lifted one half up and when you lift half of a double wide you want to make sure that you're kind of tilting away as you go so you're not ramming into the other half as you're lifting it up and then they would have swung that back half away and maybe the front half if they were using the truck hitch it's a six-way hitch on there and then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, with it up in the air, they'd have hung those axles on, come in the middle, start putting tarp on. And these halves are both just about ready to go on a 90 degree day, no less. We just got the rest of this tarp on the front side of this half sealed up <clears throat> nice and tight. We just put our banner on the back, just a LED banner. Silent wirelessly hooks up to the truck on the front pretty slick oh here we go and they say mobile home movers don't work hard i'm probably just gonna speed this part of the video up look at them horses just laughing at us So this is that six-way hitch I was talking about. It goes up and down, in and out, side to side. We're just gonna drop this half for a second. So I'll just run by a switch here. You can set this house right down. So now we're gonna attempt to load some stairs onto this trailer. 
those stairs over there, but we don't really want to carry them that far. At Mobile Home Transport and Installation, we work smarter, not harder. All right, we're just wrapping it up, getting ready to hit the road. I am sweaty. Uh, the first GoPro shut down because it overheated. Luckily, we have an old GoPro 6 for backup. What's up? I'm gonna give you four now. Yeah. So, we're ready to rock. Stairs loaded, blocks loaded, house loaded. Steve's getting loaded. Get some footage of him pulling out of here and get what we can here and then we'll pick it back up on the other end we're gonna watch his inside corner as a driver he's got a lot of things he's got to watch with a house that big easy one to forget about is your mirrors they're so much wider on the toter to be able to see around the house it's easy to forget and slam them into the side of this house here so he's gonna try and just cut in on this and keep it wide enough to not hit our equipment over here oh yeah he's got plenty of room on this one he makes it look easy but it takes a lot of experience to be as smooth and get things right on the first try like he does. That's the goodbye honk. A lot of creaking and groaning. Pretty normal for mobile home axles. So he's going to take that half down to where we're going. There'll be another day where he makes a second trip up here. Gets this half. Does the same thing. And we'd go ahead and set it up on the other end. I'll grab my truck and trailer. Follow behind him. We got radios to keep in contact. I'll watch from behind. Make sure everything's looking okay. Some days it's a lot of driving but you still got to be pretty diligent and alert on those days too we're just getting on the road stopped out on the blacktop just to check the height of the hitch make sure the home sits level while it's riding and now we're on our way We got the first half of the house on the delivery end where we put those piers in. Steve just unhooked from the house. I didn't get a ton of footage just driving. You know, it's just dash cam stuff. Nothing too crazy. We got some food. We got some fuel. We dodged some construction. And we made it. <clears throat> from one field to another, One half down, one to go. How was that drive of the house ride? Good, it was good. Good. Yeah, yeah it rolled well, no blown tires. The tar no tears in the tarp. Smooth, just water tight, looks good. Smooth ride. Smooth ride. Good. Yeah, when it's hot, 
tires are more likely to blow because they get hot. Bubble home tires aren't the best things in the world. No, we just slow her down when it's hot. Take it easy. Yep. We live off. Yep. All right. We'll go home. Yeah, we'll fast forward to when the next house gets here. And then after that, it'll be some video on installing a double wide. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.